Hey guys, what's up? My name is Namit and today our topic is how to create multiple tables in a single database. Okay, so guys, this is a continued project of my previous tutorial in which we have implemented best and easiest way to create database. So I am going to use that project. So if you have not checked this video yet, please check this video. So like now we have this table, user table. We have this single table in our dbtutorial.sqlite database. Now currently in this tutorial we will create another table, one more table. Okay, so what in this tutorial currently I have a registration screen which will gonna store the data into our table. This table, user ID, login name and blah blah and in login we will just check if you if user have already registered or not and that's it so now what we will do in the second table like suppose if user is doing login then we will store the time of login in another table so like so so we will have a log of its time login time so so we will know that how much how many times he logged in and what what time he logged in and all this okay so guys let's get started and this is my db helper class and this is db manager class okay so let's create a another table okay let's use this and the name of the table is table user log time and here we will use log time okay and we also need uh, its variables here we will have log time this is table name this is the attributes of a table okay so log time okay guys so I have this in my db helper class okay so let's create a second table here this one create user logs okay create table table name okay and here user id will be integer only integer because we will gonna have to pass a user id and also log time so that we will know the log time of the user from this user id like this user has been logged in this much time and all okay so pass this also and it will be a long okay and and that's it guys okay look this is our table create table table name this is and its value will be user id integer type and log time this one log time long time long long time and this user id is this okay so we will have the relation between this table and this table with the help of this user id so let's create this table also and let's use this statement okay so guys now when this this class will run my sqlite helper will create these two tables this table create user and create user logs inside my db tutorial sqlite okay so now two tables are ready in our database now let's save the data inside this table and also like 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 fetch the data okay so our goal is to when user will log in successfully then we will store that time into our table okay so for this what i will do like just to make the video shorter i'm gonna use this try catch and paste it here after the login successful okay now what we will do 
just remove these things because we don't want this okay user id equal to user dot get id and this user after login we will get this user from database and i'm good i'm using this id okay to check everything properly please check my last tutorial table sorry log time and it will be system dot current time marriage because i'm going to use the current time we want to save the current time and here okay now check this i have a content value and this db manager this db manager will insert this thing this content values in my this table and the data in the content values is user id and user log time okay guys if you have any confusion please ask me in the comment section and don't forget to join our facebook page and whatsapp group and i have posted the links in the description okay so check the description of all videos okay so now when this will get successful then what we will have to do let's call let's create another activity okay let's create a empty activity and i'm gonna call it main activity okay it is gradually sinking okay and let's change this into relative layout because i'm a very big fan of relative layout okay so in this activity we will show the log time of the user patch parent wrap content padding 10 dp and center true okay so then let's go to our main activity and from here I will use this thing we, we will have to create a query and this then we will do we will get the user time by like this code okay so let's check out let's copy this code copy and go to your main activity and create a new method here public void get log time okay and paste all your code here and let's create a tag here private final string tag main activity and this okay so now let's change our query dot select star from table okay so table we need to create this where user id equal to user private user and user okay so where user id dot get id okay okay so guys this is query select star from user log table where user id equal to user id and that's it 
okay and here and here let's change our what we need user log time okay so let's remove everything from here and create a calendar 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 because we are storing a time here so let's get this time and save it into calendar calendar set time in millis and copy this line and paste it here and here get long because we are saving long in this table look mm, long okay and also let's create a string builder string builder s equal to new string builder okay so string builder dot append calendar dot get date time dot do string okay and also let's append a line here like this okay so guys this is our query and we don't need anything like this okay and let's remove this too okay what is the like what here we are doing we are just doing a query in our database and we are getting a cursor and we are getting the data like log time from this cursor cursor is like a point on the table like with this query we will get only the required data from the database okay and this from this cursor we can get the data of our table like uh, data from the table like here we only want to get the user log time so we are we will we are calling cursor dot get long and from this key we are passing this key column index okay so guys here we have a edit text we will gonna show the log time in this edit text so let's pass this text view okay and here let's create a private private text view in this text view equal to find view by id dot id dot text view and text view look what i'm gonna do here set text dot string builder dot to string okay so let me build this project and then i will explain with you everything okay so from here let's call the main activity here start intent intent equal to new intent oops intent intent and here login activity dot this main activity dot class and let's create a bundle here bundle bundle equal to new bundle and pass here user oops what i am doing bundle dot put serialization user and here user okay okay so guys let's go to our user table and implement serialization here serializable okay and now intent dot put extras bundle and let's call start activity with intent okay and now here in main activity we also have to get the user 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 class 
get intent dot get extras dot get serializable and here let's pass user okay and also check for this thing if get intent is not equal to null and then get intent dot get extra is not equal to null and then so this will gonna prevent the crash okay always do these kind of things null okay get log time okay so let me check it out select star from user time where user id equal to user id my login and okay so guys let's let's run this application Okay, if you guys need I can mail you the code of these classes so just put your mails in the comment section and it's done okay so let's create a user like ABC is its username 1 2 3 4 5 6 ABC again ABC at gmail.com and birthday will be like 21 22 and okay account created now let's log in abc one two three four five six okay look monday may 14 11 49 zero five gmt basis okay so if i'll log in again look 16 now this is 11 seconds later okay so if you want we can also do like this mm. let's put gravity center and let's run the application again and also guys we have a facebook group and whatsapp group please that please check the description of the videos okay one two three four five six okay now look this is like suppose 35 seconds later so now we are making a log in this table in this table and office database okay mm. so guys that's it for now if you think this video is worth please subscribe my channel and like the video and hit the bell and also if you have any doubt please check the description and also comment and use comment section thank you guys bye bye